everybody, Evie here. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing a painting today, which um, is going to be a ring pour. You may have seen one of these in my one of my videos, but I'm actually going to do two different um, thicknesses of paint. So I'm going to have gold underneath, and I'm going to have thinner paint over the top, which will wash over quickly and hopefully we're going to get pearls around the edge come pop through because they're of a, high, a, a denser uh, they're much more dense the paint so fingers crossed i'm looking forward to it very much so i'll just get set up and i'll see you in a moment okay we're organized now so what i've done i've prepared my canvas by taping it underneath um, around the edges so that it doesn't get messy on the back just using a, a painter's tape um, I find this one the best uh, it's a nice width it seems to cover the the wood as well um, just before I begin I wanted to show you I don't throw away paint that's spilt on the table I always make sure there's baking paper down or the the blue side of the puppy <laughs> puppy pads because they peel off and this is what I do I peel off the paint is that focusing yet yeah, so that I can use them and I'll, I'll make a painting with the peeled off pieces so I thought I'd just show you that um, maybe if I move those out the way and just put that oh can it is it um, focusing yes so you can see all the interesting pieces and I just peel them off and they come off beautifully and I save them and then I'm going to make a painting out of them so you'll have to keep a look out for that one okay so the colors I'm going to do for my ring pour today is um, a yellow orange and dark gray turquoise and white with the gold um, to create the pearls so um, fingers crossed so the combination I've used is for the gold is one third paint uh, to two thirds pouring medium. I'll put that down below anyway, the pouring medium, because I'm using two different strengths of pouring medium, which I make. So I'm using that with that one. And then the paints I'm using, which I've got mixed up here. And if you can see two parts flow troll to one part PVA glue to a quarter of um, distilled water because I need that to be thinner to flow so I thought I'd just show you plus I've I have used my spirit level to check that this is level okay I'll just move those out the way for the moment so I thought I'd just show you um, with one of them so I've squeezed in some of my paint so you can see it's to here and I'm I'm going to use two-thirds pouring medium so so I just eyeballed it really this is the one that's got the, some water in as well so two-thirds so one-third paint two-thirds pouring medium And then we make sure that we stir that very thoroughly. People look at it at first and think, oh my gosh, it's gone grey or gone white. But it will completely blend. It doesn't take away the colour or the density of the colour at all. But it does take a little bit of stirring up to keep the... Oopsie. Just remove that bit of colour. Maybe I won't do it over the thing. I'll come back when I've finished it. Oopsie. I've got them mixed up now and I just like to show you the how liquid so it virtually just runs straight into itself it doesn't leave it doesn't leave a lump or anything like that so that's the consistency for the um, the ring pour 
So I have got the others mixed up already in containers and the gold is thicker. So let's give it a go. We'll try and see how this goes. Um, <laughs> I, it's usually very messy because we've got to pour it quite quickly. So we'll see. And I do hope that this angle of the camera is okay for you there. Um, I've moved my studio around a bit and I, it was a bit hard to level this corner that I'm working in. I'm trying to leave more space for my students. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is in the middle, we're gonna put the gold. Just like that. Few air bubbles on it so I'm just going to quickly remove those done right now the next thing we're going to do is layer uh, a cup and I want to do like if possible three layers of each color so let's let's see how we go with that so oh, I haven't got that quite in line in a okay so you can see can you see what I'm doing here so we're going to do some white. Some turquoise. Oh, I just realized, because this is thinner paint, it's going to mix into each other. So it could come out more of a dirty pour. We'll see what happens. Some of the gray. Yes, that's what's going to happen because they're thinner. They're not going to lay on top of each other. Well, that could be quite nice. Oh. The orange. Well, the orange must be a little bit thicker. I hope that doesn't, because that's laying on the top. Let me move that out of the way. I might put some more white in. White. Turquoise. Some of the grey. Some of the orange. it up the end, this part. I'm going to put some of the grey on. Oh, it's sitting on the top there a bit better. Whoopsie. Right. And the last of the white on the top. Here we go. This could get very messy indeed. I might just put a little bit more of the grey if I can squeeze any in. Right. Ideally, I would have loved a, a bigger cup, but this is the biggest one I've got. Um, and I wanted one that I could squeeze, preferably a cardboard one, but that's not big enough. So here we go. We're go I'm going to try and pour this massive amount of paint in a ring pour. Just round and round and round. Just moving my cup around slightly. Continuing on. Moving it around again. 
seem to have quite a lot of orange in this. I'm hoping you can see, I hope my arm's not in the way. And we just keep going around in circles until the very last drop is out. And catch the last strips there you can see in the cup there how it went right the next thing we do is I'm going to move my paints out the way because I feel I can feel a messy time coming on <laughs> anyway I'll just wipe my hands hope everyone's having a super day today I've had the most wonderful weekend well week my puppies my dogs had puppies, five. I'll show you some pictures later. And I'm just going to get rid of some air bubbles here. And, um, and yesterday I had a wonderful family get together for my grandson's birthday. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to just try and move this back to the centre a little bit. And we've got to quickly pour that over to the edge. Am I in line? I don't know if I'm in camera straight over once I get it over I pull it back okay and then back again to the middle and then over to this side okay over to this side okay and back And then over to the other side. I'm hoping this works, everybody, as quickly as possible because it's the, the rubbing effect of the, the more diluted paint. And back into the middle. I love this blue coming through. Look at that. Isn't that superb? And then once again, over to the last corner. I'm going to... Pour that down. There we go. And back. Right. I'm going to stretch this. I like the blue over this. So the orange has taken over. So now I'm just going to. Yes, no, that's good. Can you see all of this? <laughs> and just take that down a wee bit more on that side and back. Stretch it out. Okay. Oh, that's looking quite beautiful. What do you think? Now we just hope that I got it right and the gold's going to come up around the edges and we'll soon see I shall get the blowtorch out when I look down on the surface the surface area I can see all the air bubbles so I'm going to get rid of the air bubbles it's a very cold day here in Tassie today so I'm hoping that's not going to affect this is my painting today. Doesn't seem to be any gold pearls coming up, does it? I might not have been quick enough. If that's the case, I'll just have to go again. Try again until I get it right. something just here I meant to move right 
um, and with a stick I'm just I've missed a corner slightly here over in this corner just on the edge so I'm scooping up appropriate color off the counter here and just making sure that that all corners are covered I'm just going to have them all the way around to make sure oh here I've got a little bit here so I'll look for some spilt paint that's that color and can make sure that's covered yeah I mean I've got this thing about my paintings I I like them to continue down and over the edges I think it's very looks beautiful it gives it more much more of a 3d effect and I think it's stunning I still can see this little lump I'm gonna have to see if I can't get it I don't know what it is so there we are let's see so I'll come back in here and um, right well, the, the, the gold seems to have disappeared. Just continue around, heat it up a bit. Maybe I didn't put enough on for this size painting. If not, we will give it another go shortly. Right, I'm gonna leave it for a while. Some, some um, cells are coming through, which is caused from the Floetrol, which is a marvelous product. Australian Floetrol actually um, is a, a conditioner that um, the painters use to help the paint flow better especially when they're using the spray gun and it's marvelous anyway I'll be back me down to show you what's happening with this painting I mean it looks beautiful There's absolutely no gold pearls coming out whatsoever and I have realized I've made a mistake I should have just used paint with Floetrol, no water whatsoever, no PVA glue. So we're going to go again. Okay, good afternoon everybody. Hi, it's me, Evie. Um, I'll just straighten this a little bit. Oh no, maybe I won't. It's, I don't quite know what I've got going on here at the moment. And I keep dropping it probably broken it anyway I apologize for any shadows it's a very dull day here in Tasmania I've got all the spotlights on I can find to turn on and um, hopefully well I'm going to try again and I want to do this pearl pour um, with in a ring pour and create pearls around the edges well my last one as you saw it didn't work so I've gone on and I've checked out um, uh, pouring your heart out with Julie cuts and her mixture is just paint equal amounts of paint and flow troll so I've cut out the PVA glue I've cut out the water and I'm going to give that a go so the colors I'm using and instead of just gold I'm actually mixing half gold and half silver together for my pearls and the other colors are dark gray um, this one is what's this one called let me see um, rose pink, uh, titanium white and aquamarine blue. So I've got them mixed up over here so we'll see how that goes. I'm starting to run out of time here because in Tassie it's winter in a day's time, two days time and um, it starts to get dark here very quickly and uh, it's already about 3 30 in the afternoon and sort of by after by 4 30 it'll be pitch black so i'm trying very hard to get this painting underway so let's see how we go so the first thing we're going to do actually is i might i've got a little i've got a pouring cup that i can squeeze to get a pour the edges out a, a coffee cup cardboard one so i'm going to layer my colors here i hope you can see them and um I'm hoping that they don't neutralize each other out the last one I did obviously I should know better on the color wheel I've got orange and I've got blue well they neutralize each other out to make a brown um, so I'm just just uh, playing here and see how we go okay so I'm starting off it's much thicker this um, this paint because of the um, only doing equal amounts of 
but it's layering on nicely look at that that's that's looking pretty right and i might put a little bit of white in between each one maybe but i could change my mind you never know <laughs> i've been known to do that before i uh, don't want to put the dark gray with the white because i don't want it to lighten it so i'm going to add the blue it may of course lighten the blue but we'll see what happens a bit more white I hope everyone's having a super day. I'm enjoying my day today. If I can get my painting right. Now, I was able to make do these ones three years ago. And I don't know what's going on. But I'm wrecking them at the moment. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm sure I'll get it back. I think everyone loses their mojo. Um, their art mojo sometimes. I seem to do that, but I think I'm back now. So look out. Eve is back. There's going to be a lot of paintings and resin work and classes happening as much as I can. Fit into my time. A bit more white, possibly. Let's do a bit more pink. I rather love this colour. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? use all of that. I'm trying to do at least three layers of colours here. I've got a little tiny bit of the grey left. I'll just pop that in there. mixed up for this painting I hope so because it is just mixed with flow troll it is a more expensive painting to do anyway if you've got any suggestions for me please leave them in the messages what colours you'd like me to try next time or, or any ideas. Isn't it amazing though, no matter how many years you've been doing it, <laughs> disasters still happen. too much paint on my last one too so I think we're right now okay so that's my combination of colors and now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pour in my silver and my gold you can see the colors there in metallic um, unfortunately I haven't got any other metallic colors I need to I need to get some metallics <laughs> All right, so because I don't have a square, it's slightly rectangular, I'm actually going to do it in a rectangular shape. So I'm pouring all of my gold and silver that I've made first. And then opposite to where I poured the colour in which was this side I'm going to pour it out of that side so I'm going to give it a little squeeze and hopefully this is going to work think positive Evie it is here we go so I'm going to do a ring pour and I'll probably move my hand around at different stages
the idea is to try and keep your hand as still while spinning as possible. I haven't got it too high off the painting, as you can see, I'm only about an, an inch above the canvas here. Colours are looking quite nice, aren't they? Just keep turning round and round in little circles. Sorry about the traffic you can probably hear in the background. It's that busy end of school time. Okay, success so far. That looks great, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. Oh, I love those colours together. And of course, they're not opposite on the colour wheel. They're not going to neutralise each other out. So, um, right, where's my... I'll just get my, my gas lighter here. Actually, it's one of those for doing brulees. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to quickly get some of those air bubbles out. There we are. And now, there's, I thought I'd show you the inside of the cup. It's always nice to see. I, it fascinates me looking at the inside of the cups. Okay, so now we're going to give it a go. So fingers crossed. I did prepare my canvas with tape underneath as well. This has got to be fairly quick. So let's see how we go. There is no silicon oil in this, just Floetrol and paint. We'll come down to one edge and then back again. Back to the middle. Come down to the next edge. Oh, I hope this works. I'm going to do this apparently quite fast, so we'll just. It's all in the action of it running over each other, I believe. I'll take the one I did years ago on a huge canvas, which was wood. I'll just move, bring that back. And I'm going to bring that over here now. Um, it was as tall as me and it worked beautifully. With Can you see that? I'm going to bring that over here now where my hand is to my hand. Over. Quite a lot of paint coming off here, sadly. Okay, up and then the last one over to this corner. darling move down move down that's it getting it down as I said to you I haven't put as much paint on as the last one and I'm hoping that that is the trick I'm not sure just waiting for this to roll down here on this side Get in there nearly, 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 almost. Okay, and there we go, and then back again. I've managed to, so it's just a thin coating of paint over the top, so I think we're okay there. It's looking quite nice. I rather love it, actually. I think it's beautiful. So if it doesn't turn out with the 
with the gold pearls. I'm happy with the painting itself. <laughs> what do you think? Just checking the edges, making sure they've all got a good coating of paint. Just corners to make sure. I'll just use the paint that's the correct colour to dab onto the colour. Oh, okay, and this side's more the purple and the pinks. I'll pop that there. Oh, I think we've covered that beautifully. I'm going to take these gloves off because they're really yucky. And um, I'm now going to give it a go with the torch. So we'll see how this goes now. Hopefully to bring up some of that gold and silver. Doesn't seem to be happening. What's that? So I'm just going to continue with this and then I'm actually going to leave it to sit and see if that gold and silver come up on their own. Fingers crossed. <laughs> 